Hello, welcome back. I'm here with my new addition, Little Love Bug, from Ashton Drake, who I've named Susie April. And I thought I'd change her into an outfit and explain her name and talk about her a little bit. So, um, I hope that's all right with you. Thank you for watching. And if you would, go give her this video a thumbs up and her box opening a thumbs up all right so she is named Susie after my grandmother well in honor of my grandmother my grandmother went by her middle name which was Sue so I decided to name this one Susie and my grandmother passed went home to be with the Lord in April so her name is Susie April. And when my grandmother was in the hospital, I asked her one time, I said, if you ever passed away and you could send me a message of love or hugs or kisses, uh, what would you send me to let me know that you were with me or something like that? And she said, I would send you ladybugs. So when I saw a little love bug on the catalog that came in the mail, I just fell in love with her ladybug dress. And I love her curly hair and her brown eyes. And so I got her and named her in honor of my grandmother and named her Susie. And little Susie is going to go in a very special dress. When my grandmother passed away, I took some special clothes from her closet and sent them to a lady in uh, the UK, a seamstress in the UK, who turned them into turned some of my grandmother's clothes into um, baby dresses. Yes, and this, and I also sent some fabric. So I went to the went to the fabric store, picked out some fabric that went with some of the clothes that I wanted turned into dresses. That way, they could have options. So the main part of this dress, which is this yellow gauze, was one of my grandmother's favorite shirts. And she wore it very often. It was a yellow gauze top. So I sent that. Um, and she made, and I sent this fabric to go along with it, which is eggs and hens. And so chickens and eggs. And here's the bloomers. And the dress has this little apron part that goes around it that's the hens and chickens so grandma my grandma sue her uh yellow gauze top is in this dress and then the hens and chickens is just a fabric i picked out and all the scraps that were left over from my grandmother's top um, cause there were several different, uh, things I sent nightgowns and whatnot. So I have several different dresses from my grandmother's clothes. Well, uh, the seamstress took all the scraps and made these gorgeous little pillows. Um, and they're filled with the scraps of my grandmother's clothes. So I thought this would be a perfect dress to put on little Susie whose name is in honor of my grandma and yeah so just really really special I love I love my grandma very much and I'm excited to see Susie in something other than this dress because if you're anything like me when you're waiting on a baby and you're tracking a baby you're looking at their pictures constantly thinking of you know, what kind of personality you want to give them? What kind of name do you want to give them? Well, in Susie's case, I had to think of a name really, really quick. Because her little bracelet is ordered with her. So, yes. She is so sweet. I love her little sweet expression, don't you? Anyway, there is so many Ashton Drakes that I like, so it's hard to pick and choose what to get, what not to get. <laughs> but the great thing about Ashton Drake is they have that 365-day 
money back guarantee. So if you don't like the doll, you can send it back and exchange it for something else, which is nice. Don't think I'd be doing that. I have never done that, but I don't think I will be doing it with Susie. I can't do it. Once I see their little face, that's it. Unless there was something like wrong, like if they were broke in some way. Oh, she's going to look beautiful in yellow. She's going to look so cute. Um, so how is everybody's day? My stomach is feeling a lot better. The prescription has been, I take it right before I eat a meal. And it's been helping reduce the acid and my stomach so I'm feeling a lot better yeah but thank you oh I had a great day today I not only did I realize that little Susie was out for delivery but I took myself a nice hot bubble bath this morning what a great way well I first watched the sunrise and then I had a hot bubble bath and I ironed this dress because it was wrinkly so it needed iron and something about ironing little baby dresses is so 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 sweet oh look how cute that is and then we're gonna put the little skirt part around I'm not sure why uh, she uh, I just kind of gave her the things and told her just to create dresses. So she came up with this little pattern, I guess. Um, okay, so we'll see how this looks. And I ironed it this morning. And so it kind of goes... Like that. So there's multiple layers. Isn't that sweet? So that's the little. Oh, so cute. I don't know if you're seeing her. Yep, you're seeing her. I don't like that I can't tilt her head up. She, her head is just very stationary. So I'm going to put a new. Um, I'm going to put a new uh, neck tie around her so that her head can turn easier. So now we're getting ready to my favorite part about Ashton Drake dolls, uh, curly hair. I love the curly hair because it's so easy for me to manage. Because all I do is I spray the curls with water. I'm so sorry. All right. And all you do is you spray these curls with water like this. You make sure that the, with your hand, maybe just rub the water about. And sometimes all it takes is a little fluffing. But you take your pick here and you bring out the curls. And this is my, this is why I will buy, I consider the dolls with the curly hair on Ashton Drake because I love the way it's just easy to manage like that. And then you flip her around. There she is. Oh, she's got a little wet face. I'm going to spray the front a little bit more. So, yeah, and then there she is with that. And I should have brought a little um, towel or something. I don't have one, but I'll use this little baby mitten. There we go. Aw, and now all her curls are brought out. This would make a cute little boy, too. And I don't know if we'll need to tighten this or not. Nope, we don't need to. She's got a nice head size. You'll have to tie the headband. Um, the dresses came with a bonnet, but I didn't want to hide her curls. 
So I put a little gray flower. That's so sweet. And now we got to do something with these feet. So I'm going to go with my trusty little yellow booties that I crocheted a while ago. Um, I put some temporary ribbon in there because it's a, a, a plastic ribbon. And I want to go get a satin yellow ribbon. Um, but for now, I guess this is what we got. Anyway, that she looks so sweet. Oh, little Susie. Oh, she is a cute little thing. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to set you up and put the pillow behind you. Oh, look at her. She looks so pretty in that. Isn't that gorgeous on her? Let's take you down. There she is. Doesn't she look gorgeous? There's her hair. She's so cute. What do you think? And then there, the little bloomers. I love the little chubby legs. <laughs> and there's little Susie. And she's looking beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video, listening to her namesake and the outfit. And she's just a really special little girl. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so we can do the thousand subscriber giveaway. So thank you for watching. If you made it this far, put a yellow heart in the comment. And thank you so much for just all your love and support and making this doll hobby so fun for me. God bless y'all. Have a wonderful Tuesday. Bye-bye now.